for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.getmec.com question 71 consider the following statements first agriculture national agricultural portal ena is designed to create a unified national market for agricultural commodities second farmers can showcase their produce online from the nearest market and the buyer can quote his price from anywhere which of the above statements is or are correct so here we are asking about the enam portal national agricultural market so it is one of the application of the ict giving market access to the farmers is nationwide access national agricultural market so in our Uh, daily current affairs discussions we have seen that uh, the issue of the farmers is a hot topic because policy makers are trying to find way outs to increase the income of the farmers so marketing is a factor which affects the income of the farmers because the physical access to the market is very limited in our rural areas either because of the infrastructural deficiency or because of the legal road blocks the market in india is highly fragmented so the enam portal is an effort to bring this fragmented markets to a single platform so that the farmers can trade across the country without any restrictions so this portal gives the data about the prices so if the farmer can access this portal he will know about the current price of his produce so that the middleman cannot take advantage of him advantage of his ignorance and he can do marketing through this portal if anybody interested can quote the price and get the produce directly from the market uh, directly from the farmer also so the enum serves two purposes that is given in the question it is created to designed to create a unified national market so instead of the fragmented market which are physically present now it tries to create a unified market second the farmers can showcase the product online and buyer can quote the price and get the produce so both one and two are correct option is c both one and two question 72 consider the following statements regarding the code of ethics for engineers first safety health and welfare of the public are paramount importance perform services only in the area of their competence third issue public statement strictly in an objective and truthful manner for avoid deceptive acts so this is about the code of ethics so code of ethics generally defines the ethical standards that is expected out of the profession that here it is in the case of engineers so this code of ethics are usually given by the organization or the societies engineering societies they will give a charter about the code of ethics uh, so the main content of the code of ethics given by the different engineering bodies is that public safety public safety and welfare should be of the paramount importance for an engineer right safety health and welfare so whatever the duty of the engineers come these three qualities should be given the first importance this this code is same for almost all the organization they give importance to these three things it is the first duty of an engineer and also they should not work where they don't have enough knowledge or enough skill that means competence competence is the ability of the person to perform a skill here it is engineering skill if the person is not competent in that area the engineer should not work in that area because it will affect the public safety welfare and health third 
Public statement should be objective and truthful because engineer is a person who is having knowledge and the skill to apply it. Um, public may, general public may not be aware of the engineering phase for a particular project or the product they are doing. So here the engineer's responsibility to give public information only in the objective manner. So they should give the information only in the truthful manner. They should not unnecessarily get into other subjective issues that are supposed to done by other people of public relations. Here the role of the engineer is to give the proper scientific or engineering data in the truthful manner. Nothing more than that. And fourth is our deceptive words. Because here the knowledge is in the hand of the engineer. So it is very easy that he can use it for the fraudulent purpose. But code of ethics say that engineer should not go to such acts. And <coughs> these codes are, uh, we have noted in our article, ethics in engineering profession, very clearly the code of ethics. And this is taken directly from the code of ethics, this question. So you can easily answer the question if you have gone through the code of ethics. So the answer is option D. Option D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Question 73. In a radar system, the term red rays is used in connection with A. Modulator, B. Pulse characteristics, C. Receiver bandwidth and D. Duplexer. So, what is a radar? So, radar is a device which transmits signals and receives back the reflected signals from the objective and depending upon the time and phase that the signals is reaching they will find the position of the objects so the here the radar will act as both transmitter and receiver for the signals therefore perform both signals for an electronic device to do the both function there should be a duplexer so duplexer essentially means a device that helps to switch between these two functions transmitting and receiving functions and the term given in the question right race it's a hybrid coupler which is used in the duplexer for helping in transmission and reception. So the answer is D duplexer. It is the coupler used in the duplexer of the radar devices. Question 75. PQLI is based on A. Infant mortality, life expectancy and adult literacy rate. B. Crime rate, clean environment and quality of housing. C. Air pollution, water pollution and sanitation conditions. D. Health, education and environment. Here the term PQLA is given. If you know the expansion of the PQLA or if you have come across these terms in terms of the economic development, you can answer this question very easily. PQLA means physical quality of life index. So, this is an index to measure the quality of life. Usually, we will use GDP or GNP to measure the growth, right? So, here we try to measure the growth in terms of the economic terms. How much domestic product or national product we are having. But, these terms are very quantitative. They do not measure the quality of the life that people of the nation is having. So, uh, dissatisfied with this GDP and GNP measurements, many economists try to come up with different indexes. So, PQLA is one such index and another famous is HDA, Human Development Index by the United Nations. This is the most famous index for developing the human development. So, PQLA also serves the same purpose. So, it measures infant mortality. Infant mortality means the 
number of infant deaths that is below five deaths that occurs it generally indicates the public health conditions of the country infant mortality life expectancy life expectancy means how many years the person is supposed to live if he is born in a particular place it also depends on the general economic welfare of the country how much health health infrastructure is available nutrition it uh, this fact is depends uh, determines the life expectancy and next is adult literacy rate so literacy rate is a measure of the quality of life right so on, once a person is literate only his opportunities to have more income and his opportunities to have more choices in the life will occur so this occurs the uh, this measures the infant mortality rate life expectancy and the adult literacy so the option a is correct it is not related to any other things like crime rate or clean environment or housing or air pollution mentioned in other options if you know the idea behind this term you can directly answer the question it is a question 76 hd hdi is a better index of development because a gdp growth may not consider personal growth situations B. It takes to consider reduction of poverty. C. It covers income, health and education aspects of development. D. It covers promotion of growth. So, the previous question we have seen the different ways of measuring the development. Because GDP and GNP does not capture the actual development of the people in the country. It just measures the economic activity. So, different indexes are proposed and hdi is the most famous of that index it is used by the united nations to measure the development of the different countries so in hdi we measure the income we measure the health in terms of the life expectancy and we measure the education in terms of literacy education in terms of the number of years of schooling so these three are the main factors in included in the hdi index and there is a difference between growth and development growth simply denotes that how much is the change it is denotes only the quantity but development is the positive growth right so there should be a positive growth to development occur and this development we can tell that if there is a development if the real physical condition of the citizens improve how we can measure the conditions of the citizen should improve there is it is related to the income more the income of the people more will they will be able to assess the resources similarly more the health of the people more will be they will be able to live and work and earn income and this health also depends on the economic situation of the country how the government how far the government can provide the basic facilities like that and similarly education also expands the opportunities of the people so as they can improve their income and get a uh, better living standards so the option is c why other options are not there first option tells that gdp growth may not consider personal growth situations it is correct but why we go for hda is better explained by the option c and b tells that it takes into consider reduction of poverty it does not directly takes into consider the direction of poverty it, the income is one factor though and c is true that it covers income health and education aspects of the development d d it covers promotion of growth this is not at all related to the hda so we can go with the option c question 77 IPR protects the use of information and ideas that are of A. Ethical value, B. Moral value, C. Social value and D. Commercial value. What is IPR? IPR is Intellectual Property Rate. 
so there are different types of properties right there can be physical property in terms of wealth land and and, and this property is intellectual it has formed because of the use of the intellectual resources of a person the idea of the ipr protection that is intellectual property of a person is protected by this ipr right it means that he can use his intellectual uh, intellectual property to have a product or a uh, innovation and he should get a benefit out of it so it means that there is a commercial value for it so this intellectual property products what could be the intellectual property products it can be an innovation right it can be a artistic production or it can be a design so different types of things are covered under this ipr and it is very easy to replicate these things and get a commercial benefit out of it by other people so if the person has ipr protection nobody is allowed to take advantage of his innovation or products so it gives the commercial protection so that so that it encourages the people to undertake such activities and in ipr it includes patent trademarks copyrights trade secrets protection etc so many terms are included in this ipr what is patent patent is any innovation or uh, product or process that is covered under the patent trademark is special symbols that are used to identify a particular company or the particular product many people will use different trademarks and copyright is especially the literary works or artistic works for books and for films copyrights will be there trade secrets are the data they are having for a product for example if it is a pharmaceutical product trade secrets will be the test results for that product and uh, they are allowed to protect that results they are not supposed to give, uh, give it to others and others cannot take advantage of this results without the permission of the person who is doing it and this uh, issues are uh, com issues are the those issues which commonly comes in news and we have discussed it in our articles regarding the patent it will be it is in news for a long time uh, especially with related to the pharmaceutical products uh, we have compulsory licensing like that different issues are uh, there related with related with this so it is a recurrent topic in the current affairs you are supposed to know what is ipr and what are the different different terms under it and the present situation of the ipr protection both internationally and nationally so the option gives a ethical value b moral value c social value and d commercial value here the most apt option is option d because it tries to protect the commercial rights of the innovators For engineering services, general studies video lectures, visit www.iesgeneralstudies.com. For mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion, visit www.getnet.com.